Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Indian Autos Blog. My name is Suvil, and I am at TVS Motor Company's Hosur Test Track to test ride the 2020 TVS Apache RTR 164V and the 2020 TVS Apache RTR 204V. Now we have already done a video about the 160cc variant of the motorcycle. What you see on your screens is the 200cc variant of TVS's latest BS6 motorcycle. Uh, the list of changes similar to the 160cc motorcycle are not very comprehensive and that has been done to keep the price increase minimal. Uh, the BS6 upgrade itself has uh, increased the prices by 12,155 rupees over the BS4 variant. Uh, a styling, a comprehensive styling upgrade would have required more research and development which would have added to the costs and further increased the prices of the motorcycle. Uh, the motorcycle uh, unlike the BS4 variant is available in a single form uh, that's with the fuel injection technology the carburetor system will not be available any longer let us run you through the list of visual changes that the 2020 Apache RTR 204V gets the first thing that's very evident is this new headlight assembly it's a full LED headlight and it gets these LED DRLs. The LED DRLs are noticeably larger than the units on the BS4 variant of the 200cc motorcycle and I for one was a fan of the proportions of those DRLs. These are a little too big uh, for my liking. You get this tricolor flag on the above the DRL. The blinkers are not changed, they still continue with the conventional units instead of LEDs so we get a clean clear visor with orange bulbs inside uh, another change is on the rear view mirrors the design of the rear view mirrors have been updated the design of the rear view mirror has been updated and these are claimed to be aerodynamically enhanced than the previous motorcycle they also get this neat carbon fiber texture on the top then moving behind the cockpit has also received several changes and while the display may not look very different from the model it replaces the layout has been revised so the fuel gauge has moved from the lower part of the screen to the left hand side of the screen and the center of the screen uh, right below the speedometer is occupied by a DOT display now this, this display gives you several readings like your average speed you can toggle uh, this using the mode button so Apart from your speed, it gives you your lap timer mode, uh, the high speed, the 0 to 60 timer. Uh, apart from all these details, the instrument console also features TVS's Smart Connect technology, a feature that we have already seen on the NTOC 125cc scooter. This one too features several of the functions that we have already seen on the NTOC, but this gets a few more additions uh, for example you have a lean mode that gives you the reading of the lean of the motorcycle as you take it around a corner uh, the system works with your with a smartphone application and it uses uh, the hardware of the smartphone to calculate the lean angle apart from that uh, this screen also gives you the reading of the network strength your battery percentage your unread messages and your missed calls then moving forward the switch gear assembly is similar to the bs4 model apart from this this new button has been added to the switch gear and this works with the smartphone app to uh, say reject a call or several other features the other side has your engine kill switch and the starter button Moving beyond the cockpit, you would see a very familiar fuel tank design. So you get this fiber cover on the fuel tank. Uh, you have this asymmetrically mounted fuel filler cap, a contrasting shade that runs through the center and this 3D TVS logo. The gills, similar to the previous model, are visible on this variant as well. Moving beyond, you have this uh, Split style seat that looks again identical to the BS4 variant. There are no changes over here apart from the uh, inside of the seat. The material used is designed 
for better comfort during long rides. That's your pillion seat, the step up split style pillion seat with uh, a keyhole over here to access the under seat storage. It can be used to store documents or maybe a few tools. This pillion grab rail, this very unique sporty premium looking pillion grab rail has been carried forward from the VS4 model and so has the tail light setup. So you get this very familiar LED tail light with a clear screen cover. Again, conventional blinkers with clear screen. Now, while the visual changes are limited on the motorcycle, uh, the mechanicals have undergone several upgrades to comply with the BS6 norms. Uh, for starters, the carburetor version has been discontinued and now the motorcycle will be only available in fuel injected form. You can see this RT slipper clutch, that's the slipper clutch system, race tuned slipper clutch system that is part of the gearbox. There's the BS6 logo. Now in terms of performance, the engine continues to feature a 197.75 cc of displacement. It's an oil cooled 4 valve engine that is paired to a 5 speed gearbox. Uh, the slipper clutch, the race tuned slipper clutch as I have already mentioned is part of the package. In terms of performance, the peak power output number has not changed and the BS6 variant continues to put out 20.5 PS of power. The maximum torque however has come down noticeably. Uh, the previous variant made 18.1 Newton meter of torque while this one makes 16.8. Similar to the 164V, the 204V also benefits from GTT tech that stands for glide through traffic mode. Uh, basically what the system does is uh, it automatically raises the revs to a certain limit so that the engine does not stop or stall while you are going in a bumper to bumper traffic. Uh, the system works without any throttle inputs and all you have to do is slowly let the clutch go and the motorcycle will start moving without any engine knocking or uh, stalling. Other hardware specifications are identical to the previous generation motorcycle. So you have a pedal type disc at the front and a pedal type disc at the back. The safety net is handled by dual channel ABS with rear lift protection system. What it essentially does is it stops the rear wheel from lifting up uh, under heavy braking, thus avoiding accidental stoppies. The suspension setup again is identical to the previous generation motorcycle. So you have the conventional telescopic forks at the front. They are sourced from KYB. And the rear continues to feature a monoshock. The red paint of the monoshock gives it a nice and a sporty feel. Another upgrade on the 2020 model is the addition of a radial tire. Uh, a TVS claims that the tires have low resistance that contribute to better fuel economy. The motorcycle is available in two color options, uh, gloss black, that, uh, that's the one that you see on your screen, and the pearl white. Uh, the prices, as I have already mentioned, have gone up by 12,155 rupees, and that's on the X showroom tag. And the new Apache RTR 164V BS6 is available for 1.24 lakh. So that was our quick take on the 2020 Apache RTR 204V. Uh, do let us know your views about the motorcycle and the video in the comment section. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video. Till next time, this is Suvil signing off.